Welcome back to Stick War 3. Right at the triumphant part of the music. Oh my god, this music always gets me amped. But today we've got a challenge that's brought from the community. So I'm going to once again ask you for your challenge suggestions in the comments for next week's challenge video. But this week is going to be pretty interesting. Can you beat Stick War 3 using only Stick War 1 units and spells? And when you think about it, there's been so many spells and enchantments and upgrades as well as, well, units. Like the new Sickle Wrath. You've got the Hero units. You've got the Shadow Wrath. And the Eclipsor. All really cool units, but well guess what? We can't use them. So that means we can't have spells like Vampiric Soul. I'm thinking we're gonna wanna go hard on all of the special units. Now, we do have Minor Hustle, and that's a, a regular spell, I think. But other than that, we can't really use anything else. So it's pretty much all units, and then Minor Hustle. So here we go. The Alliance of Stick War 1. Facing against, well, the unknown foes with incredible magical powers. The Blazing King. Okay, we'll see just how good Mr. Blazing King is. Now, we've got the music where, like, this is the music for fighting, like, the final boss in Stick War Legacy. We're gonna send okay. our single Sword Wrath to go take the middle ground to try to get that passive 20 gold per iteration, we'll call it. Oh, and look who it is. Their guy is going to the middle. And then I'm thinking what we need to do. Oh my god, why is nobody gathering crystal? Okay, there we go. We got a guy gathering crystal. That means I can save up for a Spearton. That's gonna be what we do. If I remember anything about Stick War 1, and like, if you think about it, Stick War Legacy isn't necessarily Stick War 1. Stick War 1 was the browser game. And it's time yeah. to retreat. Cause we are gonna need a little bit of help. We've got fire arrows. How do we, how do we fight fire arrows? You know what I mean? All right, if we can kill this guy, we need to make sure our miners do not get hurt. Oh, they, and by getting hurt, I mean that guy took like three fire arrows to the face. Now I think we're gonna want an archer and a sword rat. They've got two of these flaming dudes. Now luckily, we've got healers, right? We can get those. All right, so we'll get this guy back to stop burning. And I think we held off an early rush. That's one thing I've learned Defense. in Stick War 3 is don't be afraid to retreat back to the back line. I, it's, it's something that you need to use on occasion. Now, do we need Minor Hustle? I think we okay. might need Minor Hustle. We are going to use that just to try to get a little bit of a boost to our economy. Alright, with the Spearton here, I am worried. I feel like with one or two Spearton's and a Medic... Or a Merrick, rather, because that's their official nomenclature. Defend. Then I think we'd be pretty good. All right, they're Attack. retreating, so what I want to do is take that middle ground. Pull up another Spearton. Because I feel like the magic number, two to three Spearton's, one Merrick. Although that is going to be a significant amount of crystals, so we probably need to reinvest in our economy a little bit. Spearton holds the line. These fire arrows, man. I hate them. All right, so we're gonna send them back to heal themselves. Yeah, getting an early Merrick might be necessary, but it's just like I don't really have a front line at all. We do have another Spearton though, hiding. All right, retreat back to base, use the defensive archers. See, their units are very, very light. So that's sort of the strategy here. Is we rely on our defensive archers to cut through their Sword Wrath and their Archidens. They don't have a tank unit, at least not yet. And that's kind of what I'm fearing. I don't know what the Blazing King is all about, other than lighting things on fire. Burn them all! What what TV series was that? There was someone that like always loved saying burn them all, and I forget who it was. And now it's time to queue up our first Merrick once we get this 10 gold. 10 gold, where are you? Attack. Come on. Not enough crystal, there we go. All right, can we cut this guy down? Yes, we can, and we'll retreat everybody except for the miners, keep them out, maybe do a little bit of minor hustle once we can get that 50 gems. I think it's very clear that we need to, now that I think we're sort of ahead, assuming things stay as they are, Ceteris Paribus, then we should be fine. I think we've overcome the adversity on the battlefield here. One more Spearton, or do we get another Merrick? Well, we don't have the gems, do we? Come on, give me that gold, dang it. And there we go, we got two guys on gems. So we'll pull everybody out, and that is four 
Now I think what we should do... Oh. Attack. Is get another Merrick. Another healer unit. And you know what? Maybe take the middle ground. Yeah, definitely take the middle ground here. Come on, guys. I want to use Miner Hustle, but I need those gems. That is a very finite and precious resource right now. So the Merrick's going to heal us. Now we can deal with the burning that we get when we peek. No, when we get hit with fire arrows. Okay. Now we want some archers to back up our front line. That's going to be a big damage dealer of ours. Hey, if they could just not shoot the more vulnerable archer, that'd be great. And shoot the dudes with big shields that are supposed to be blocking arrows? I would be a happy person here. And once we get that 200 gems, we'll get the other healer. And then we're in business. All right, I might, there we go. I might want to direct another one because I would like to get a wizard. It'd be interesting to see if we could get all of the units. There we go. Look at that. Okay, that is what you call a staunch line of spears. We've got Spiritans with their high health, just tanking incoming arrows. Our archers right behind them, dishing out the pain train. And then our Merrick's in the very back line, healing our guys. I just don't like that at all. We're gonna lose guys this way. Attack. Well then maybe we should commit to an attack. Do a little bit of a raid, shall we? Why not? We could save up to get a wizard? Defend. Or a giant. Which one do we want? I think... I think we want a giant. Now, Merrick's were Stick War 1, I believe. Alright, our giant is in route. Now, a giant supported by healers is a dangerous thing, especially with a staunch front line of spears and shields. And they don't really have a whole lot, so at this point it's just like, you know what? Why don't we dish out a little bit of, you know what? You shouldn't have challenged us. And we'll do a minor hustle, because I think we're going to want a wizard. Oh, look at that. So that's interesting. Can I queue up these guys at the same time? These guys have a different build order than the giant. I can build a giant and a, a magic kill? Wizard? What? That's incredible. I am a fan of that. Okay. Intriguing. And then we'll have, what, one of every unit? There we go, the wizard. He's got a light gray hat. I actually like that. I wish we could customize them to like, and I wish, I want different types of wizards. Attack. All right, so at this point, I think we want just archers. We'll just spam archers. Oh, they got Kichu, the golden archidin. Attack. Don't let him kill any Merricks, please. There we go, that's how we do it. Yes, all right, I think. We've done what's known as reaching critical mass. I don't think the army of the enemy is going to be able to stop the army that we have created. So, let's go in and finish off the enemy. I mean, that front row of spears alone probably could tank enough damage coming from the defensive archers. Okay, uh, real quick, I did not use that bubble shield. What was the explosion? Oh, the explosion is the wizard. The wizard has some pretty impressive effects here. So it's amazing. You get a Stick War 1 unit, the wizard, but he's in Stick War 3. So naturally, you're going to see a little bit of improvements to his attack abilities. So we've proven that we can fight one of the armies in Stick War 3 with our Stick 1 1 army. But I'm actually kind of curious. It's come to my attention that these Merricks actually can't be used, I don't think. They're Stick War Legacy. So that's while that's sort of Stick War 1, it's also sort of not Stick War 1. So we'll take them out and do it again. Voltaic Chaos. I mean, if that's not Stick War 3 units, I don't know what is. All right, we're going to rush the mid-ground with our Sword Wrath first. So now we did Stick War Legacy in that first part. Again, Stick War 3. This is going to be Stick War 1 versus Stick War 3. All right, what's going to be waiting for us in the mid-ground? Hopefully, Voltaic Chaos, I'm assuming they're going to have zombies. And if they do, then we are going to need Crystal here. Good, we've got one guy mining that. And now we're going to get that plus 20 gold. Love to see it. Love to see it. And I think it's time to save it for a Spiritan. You know what? I'm actually going to do a Miner Hustle just because we don't have the gold. And we have a miner. There we go. See, we immediately replaced it. Boom. I think that paid off. So I'm thinking the magical trinity 
of Swordrath, Spiritin, and Archidin. Those guys should be able to hold the front. And then from there, save up for another Spiritin? Oh god, okay, so the enemy is bringing in archers. We're gonna pull back. I really need another Spiritin, I think, in order to hold against these guys. Please don't keep coming. Oh god, they're coming. Oh god. Alright. Buy as much time as we can, gentlemen. The zombies are coming. What game was that quote from? I mean, it's probably a lot, but there's one in particular I'm thinking about. Alright. Spiritin, you gotta go hold the line. What is this? A lightning storm. Great. Please don't zap my miners. What? The lightning storm can zap your miners? Voltaic and lightning storm sucks. That guy is weakened. Okay, we need to make sure that guy does not die. So we need to pull them back for a moment. Now bring them back. Get another replacement. Oh, another lightning storm's coming. Oh, they got the Tesla coil! <laughs> of course! Okay, retreat, retreat. Bravely, bravely, bravely running from Tesla coils. Jeez. Okay. Oh, and they, they have an Eclipse Sword and we don't have any archers. Everybody back. Everybody back. Bring all the gold back. We're gonna kill the Eclipse Sword with arrows. He's gonna do a lot of damage to my units, but he's not gonna do a lot of damage to my statue. Therefore, everybody back out. And soldiers attack the front line. We need to kill this zombie. Yeah, I really don't like this electricity stuff. Defend. Yeah, so I, I feel like I don't want to take the middle ground till I have a, a bigger army. And I think we need more archers if we're going to dealing with zombies. Yeah, oh. And the fourth. I can't afford to lose my archers. No, don't attack the zombies. We need you to attack the Eclipse Source. Our statue's taking... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen percent damage, Captain! She can't take much more of it, Captain! We must defend ourselves! And my terrible accent! Someone needs to off- that's offensive! Alright, we killed that thing. Good. Defense. Bring them back out, boys. Yeah, I guess we still have the minor hustle thing. Miners are faster for ten seconds. Yeah, that's definitely gone. And this definitely seems the way to kill him. If if I could get up fire arrows, that'd be great. But alas, I cannot. I'm thinking to take the mid ground. We're gonna need four spiritons. My archers are just super weak. And the fourth. All right, another eclipse or whittling us down. These. This is a unit that what came in? I believe it was Stick War Two. With the whole campaign about chaos. 33% damage, Captain. No, is it? No, that's 25%. My math was off. It was one eighth, not one sixth. <laughs> okay, get out there. And we'll do a little minor pickup here. Luckily, we have that. I'd say that's like the best spell you can sort of get. Oh, do we? We do have someone on that. On a crystal, is what I mean to say, not just that. No pronouns here. Um, yeah, another spear tin, and then after that, it would be nice to save up for a giant. Ooh. Did anyone die right there? I hate Eclipsaurs, man. They whittle away at my archers. We need more archers now. And then a giant would be nice. A giant would definitely be nice. Oh my god, a giant would be nice. I was talking about my giants. Oh, and now they bring in lightning? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, this is this is obscene. It's obscene. We need so many more archers to deal with this. No spells, no super tanky units. They got voltaic zombies, voltaic giants, and flying archers. This is ridiculous. Can we do it? Maybe. This is just a very, very good build. All my spear tins are gone. Alright, now we need defensive archers to kill the giant. He's gonna do so much damage to this, though. We're gonna have to counterattack no matter what we got right after this. Uh, if we don't kill that giant, though. Alright, attack. 
And we do have the archers. But we don't have the front line melee units that we need. We need to hit their front line. We need to hit their miners or else this is a foregone conclusion. Attack. Archers, you gotta do it. Hopefully they don't test the coil. Like, oh, ho, 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 no! And he's got a shield up. Defend, defend. Run! Get out of the lightning storm! Oh my god. Man the fort. Defend. Man the fort. Defend. Man the fort. Oh man, I don't like having a hit. I want the miners to just go back home. There we go. We'll shoot him in the back. And he shouldn't be able to hit our archers here, I don't think. It's not looking good. Stick War 3 units are incredibly, incredibly powerful. As soon as those archers go down, we are out of luck, I'm afraid. Why are the archers rushing the giant? Someone needs to tell me the logic there. down the statue's almost down yeah i fear right we're gonna cross mid ground and there's gonna be another giant on its way <laughs> so it looks like stick war legacy units oh my gosh yeah i think it's safe to say that stick war legacy units can beat stick war 3 but stick war 1 not having the merrick out there is a game changer in the worst way all my archers are dead. My spiritons have crumbled. The statue. Man the Wait, are all my are all my miners dead? Huh. That's exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that answered the question. However, it could be just the enemy we fought was just ideally crafted to destroy ours. It does happen. So if you guys want to see this challenge again, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know if you want to see more Stick War 3. And what challenges we should do in the next one. Thanks for watching.